Hello and welcome to another episode of Fiji Time Island Life Vlog. Build a solar control room, some stone pillars, a block up a hatch stroke hole to the bedroom, the feature wall. I am um, smash my elbow, break my arm, which puts a bit of a damper on things. I'll finish off with some timber pillars that are set onto stone plips. Daniela does some pottering around. Look, she's got a good sweeping movement. So here I'm gonna look to relocate the solar uh, control panel and batteries to uh, like an outside storage room. I'm gonna dig the foundations for now, put a concrete base in, put a little roof on. It's only going to be about a metre meter off the building, um, but yeah, everything that's inside at the moment can come outside, but it'll be uh, locked away safe, safe and sound. Digging foundations for the um, solar control panel and batteries. At the moment, they're uh, positioned inside the house, but we've got limited room, so um, yeah, I'll try and get them outside. So I'm going to have a little stone structure here, little foundation, little tiny lean-to roof, roof um, for a little concrete path and a door. Um, yeah, so it's secure, um, but outside, out of the way, basically. bit overboard on the um, dig out yesterday put a few rocks back in just to make the uh, make the over dig back up um, yeah just going for like a 200 mil slab basically 300 uh, for where the walls gonna be a little bit of reinforcing in there and then I'll do a um, sort of a stepping stone feature out here bit of a wet mix so I can get it all to run in between these rocks to start with and then um, dry it up slightly more Although it's absolutely tipping it down again now. Weather forecast does give it dry this afternoon, so um, yeah, I'm going to get the wet stuff in and then hopefully it will uh, dry up. If not, I will um, leave it down a bit and probably put some starter bars in and then uh, pull the rest uh, tomorrow. So then, steel toe cap, safety boots, <laughs> health and safety taken taken seriously on this site. But if you're making an easy job look hard.
experiment. See if I can build some stone pillars. Start building my little solar room today. Got a few bottles left over from the last um, building in the storage room. Marked out my walls, uh, door, etc. First stone down, mix and muck up, and uh, crack on. Just wondering how we'd score this on turbidity today. Yeah, that's a pass. Mm. Milky. <laughs> yeah, we've got a few floaters today as well. After tropical cyclone mail. Yeah, I still drink it though. No building again today then. To go and do some undercover wood staining. Fucking hell. The joy of living in the tropics.
Lies, lies, all lies. Highlights wood grain. No, never highlighted wood grain. Shade mahogany. No, pretty much black. Never again. Maple or clear, that's it for me. Wall stroke door number two finished. I went for mahogany over the whole lot. Um, as it said, it brought the grain grain of the wood out, uh, but it was just a lot darker than I thought. I even watered it down, basically three to one with um, a clear varnish. So I've had to sand back all of the uh, boards. Um, yeah, I quite quite like how it looks now. I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But all will be okay I move on each and every day The past is where it stays Way back a year ago I've changed for the better this time I thought I would never be fine I strive just to say I'm alright and for the first time in a long time, I'm all right. I've seen a lot of Struck the shutters, which can be reused again. That'll need about seven days of uh, curing now to be able to bolt the bolt the timber down to it um, and get the stonework done around the base there. When I picked up the timbers yesterday, so I've got a selection of timbers, selection of lamps. Uh, finish the stonework around the base, get a bit of backfill around, and then get the timber pillars up. my layer. Got a concrete pad which I'm uh, facing off with some stone and then um, just quickly come this way. I have some timber timber posts that will sit on the concrete pad supporting the roof which will enable me to take these timbers out, 
so that we can have a clear walk through and around the building. So um, how I fix these to the concrete pads, I'm undecided at the moment. Um, yeah, I'll probably have to groove something in the top to take the timbers. But uh, yeah, it's coming along. So let's stick this post back. Crack back on with the timber uh, stonework. So these are just volcanic rocks from the beach. You've seen me collecting them a few times. Basically just facing off around this concrete pad, which I've got some footage. Uh, yeah, and then the post will get bolted down to there. So, work in progress. So at this point, I went to the bathroom and started ripping that out. Ready for a refurbish. It's about eight weeks to get the bits across from the main island. So I was raring to go. I slipped on a wet driveway, smashed my elbow. Yeah, there you go. Set up a plumb line. What I'm going to do is I'm going to notch the top of the post to take this T section, and um, this bit of rebar, I'm going to drill a couple of holes, chem fix it in, and then uh, put some damp proof course between the concrete and the timber to stop it rotting, and then probably put a bolt through the through the timber, um, auger in the bottom of the timber, and then put a bolt through to, to hold in this U shape. A um, bit of an afterthought really, I didn't really think about how I was going to do the posts. So in future I will probably um, preset these um, U's in the concrete basically to be able to take the, take the post. So I've marked up the top of the post. So I'm going to notch out this section here so, so this will be flat here that will sit um, sit to the 4b2 that's uh, on the outside of the frame and then I'll uh, notch through the top of the timber here so that I've got the, I can basically put the T section back through and then um, I'll be able to be able to bolt through there attach into the top 4b2 and then I'll um, auger through the bottom of that post to be able to take the U section so it's that one over there and then I'll do this one over here as well 
and get these two done. And then eventually I'll have to leave these supports in for the moment. But probably one of the last things, I'll have another one over here by the wheelbarrow somewhere um, because the roof and the timbers are split there. So you'll be able to take the, take the weight here. And then I'll have another one back here somewhere. Uh, still better to get the truck in. Um, but I'll have four supports out here and I think I've got four or six out the other side. And I can remove all these 45 degree diagonal timbers and I can just, just have a walkway through and around the back of the building. Um, yeah, it should look more um, aesthetically pleasing. for over a month and that's the continued moisture on it. It'll be alright when I get my chem fix in. Right, so that'll be perfect. So then I'll um I'll uh, notch out in the bottom of the post. The post will sit over, notch it into the top and then I'll drill a bolt through and that's been anchored in and uh, yeah it's not going anywhere I hope <laughs> when I said chem fix um, yeah I actually meant this because you can't get chem fix here so this is as close as I could get basically it's a anchoring anchoring cement um, yeah it's this or nothing so uh, there you go, just over two kilos um, of a strong cement for $40, which is like £15. So, don't really want to be wasting it. Let's see if it is rockite. Let's see whether I get that happy smile look on my face as I'm pouring it into the grooves. Something like that. Just finding this was like rocking horse poop. So um, yeah, I'm gonna use it very, very sparingly. Just add water, put it around the um, uh, bolts or um, bit of rebar, and about 15 minutes, it should be strong enough to take the post, hopefully. Pretty sure that's the, that's the kind of consistency I want. So it's going to set this rebar. All anchored in now. So I'm just going to get the timber notched out, a bit of a hole augered in the bottom, um, restained. It's going to be a good hour, and then um, yeah, that should be well gone off. Started. Yep. Cut 
channel for the 4B2 going the other way. So it'll be like a T section. So the only bits remaining will be this bit and that bit. That'll be gone. That'll be gone. And then it should be able to sit in the T and then I should be able to bolt that. Bolt that across. So I'm now going to drill all go through here and then use the um use the chisels to knock that off and then I should have a T section through there. Almost amazed myself with the quality of my drilling. Yeah, clear that up now. Tidy, tidy those edge bits up, and get the post fixed. I'm just going to auger some holes in the bottom now between that line and that line along this central line. Just an auger width wide, and that should leave a slot 150 mil deep um, that will be able to go over that bent rebar, and then I'll be able to bolt in from that side and um, it will stop any lateral movement. So searching through my drill bits, I haven't got a big enough auger, so um, I'm just going to double auger with this slightly smaller one, and then bash the chisel in if I need to. Um, yeah, a little bit of play is fine. Put the damp course on the bottom. By the time I put the bolt in, it ain't going to move anywhere, so it should be absolutely fine. If you've made it this far, thank you very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Trim back the damp proof. Finally, we'll have a bolt through here, all the way to the other side, 50 mil off. That will take that, that loop inside and that will stop any lateral movement from the base. And then one bolt through there, catching that 4B2 at the top. So that will be um, cyclone proof, so to say. I've taken that 45 degree timber out already. So yeah, that really opens that up and I, uh, it's better than I thought it was going to be, to tell you the truth. Love it. Until next time, much love from Daniela and I. Peace out. Good night.